Now whenever Joseph would go into town, he would take the Lord Jesus along. Whether his work involved making gates, milking buckets, sieves, or crates, anywhere that he would go, the Lord Jesus would go there with him. Now any time Joseph was working on something that needed lengthening or shortening, widening or narrowing, the Lord Jesus would reach his hand out toward it, and it would immediately become as he needed it to be. He therefore had no need to complete any job with his own two hands, for Joseph was not an expert in this line of work. The king of Jerusalem once summoned Joseph and instructed him, I want you to fashion a throne for me of precisely the same dimensions as the place where I usually sit. Joseph agreed and started working on the project. He labored for two whole years in the palace of the king before he was able to finish it off. And when he brought it to the spot to fit it in, he found that it was two spans short of the commissioned size on either side. And when the king saw it, he seethed with rage at Joseph. Joseph was so distraught over the king's anger that he did not even eat his supper, but went straight to bed, taking nothing with him to eat. The Lord Jesus then inquired, What are you so upset about? Because, Joseph replied, I have wasted two whole years of labor in this effort. Do not fear, Jesus reassured him, neither should you be distraught. You take hold of one side of the throne, and I will take hold of the other, and we will stretch it to its proper length. And when Joseph did what Jesus had said, and each had pulled as hard as they could, the throne obediently stretched itself to fit the space exactly. When those who were standing there saw it, they were all astounded and gave praise to God. For this throne was made from the same kind of wood as was used in Solomon's day, decorated as it was with many intricate figures and designs.